What's going on guys? I've got here a 2013 Dodge Dart and I'm gonna use this car to show you how to change your brake light switch. So this is located up here on top of the uh, brake pedal. This is something you may have to do if your brake lights aren't working or there can be some other issues caused by this switch malfunctioning such as your cruise control not operating. So real simple to replace, we're gonna pop down here and starting at the brake pedal, we look upward and we can actually see the switch right here on top of the bracket. So this is the uh, switch way up there. And it couldn't be any simpler to remove. You just grab it and you rotate it and it will lift up like so. So it rotates about 45 degrees. Now the switch will pop down. And now we just have to disconnect the electrical portion of it. So you do that by just pushing on this piece right here and the white connector will pop right out. Now when you have your new connector, you can go ahead and install it. You just click it on. Now at this point, your brake light should be on if the new switch is working properly. So you can actually hop out and check that real quick before you do the final install. Let's go ahead and get this up in here. Now it's important to not push this plunger in at all when you're doing this install. This is a self, uh, self learning setup. So it actually learns the position it needs to be in when you first apply the brakes. Let's see. So I had to set the phone down briefly to get things positioned, but you just push it down and then you lock it into position by turning it to the right. Oh shoot. Sometimes it can help if you actually push on the brake lever. That way you can actually see the switch. And then we just turn it to the right to lock it in place. And I'm sorry guys, I just can't do this with one hand, so I'm gonna have to put the phone down to lock it in position. So that's that. It did take quite a bit of effort to lock it in position. And I think that's because of how the new switch is constructed. Um, but yeah, so that's how you change your brake light switch. And I'll give you a close up look at the old one. On this particular car, I replaced the old brake light switch because it was having a problem where the brakes would not come on immediately. You would have to push on the brakes quite a bit before the brake light would start to work. So yeah, I hope this is helpful and thanks for watching.